In this lecture, we explain the difference between boundedness of solutions and stability, and also the difference between attractivity and asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point. It's important to understand and not confuse the stability of an equilibrium point and the boundedness of solutions of a system. In fact, boundedness of solutions is neither a necessary nor a sufficient condition for stability of an equilibrium point. We defined stability in the previous lecture according to the stability definition. For a stable equilibrium point in the sense of Lyapunov, one can choose any desired neighborhood of the equilibrium in which the solutions should stay for all time, and there always exists a set of initial conditions from which the solutions start and remain in the desired neighborhood. For the boundedness of solutions, the definition is slightly different. We say a system has bounded solutions if for each set of initial conditions around the equilibrium, there exists a bounded set that contains the solutions for all time. So unlike the stability definition, we choose the set of initial conditions and then the bounded set containing the solutions for all time can be found. We now consider two examples in which only one of the properties of boundedness of solutions and a stability of an equilibrium point holds. In the first example, we consider the nonlinear system x dot equals minus x plus x squared. This system has two equilibrium points at 0 and 1. We are interested to check the stability of the equilibrium point at the origin. So since we haven't yet learned techniques such as Lyapunov stability methods, to check the stability of the equilibrium points, we use the stability definitions. Using MATLAB, we plot the solutions to this system for different initial conditions from minus 1.5 to 1.5, and see when the system starts from initial conditions at 0 and 1, the solutions remain constant. This is because 0 and 1 are the equilibria of this system. We choose an epsilon and see that for this particular epsilon, delta can be chosen as delta equals epsilon, and the system is stable. In fact, for any epsilon less than 1, we can choose delta to be equal to epsilon. If epsilon is chosen to be larger than 1, delta can be chosen to be 1 or a value smaller than 1, and the origin is stable according to the definition, as for any positive epsilon, there exists a positive delta such that if the initial condition is in the delta neighborhood of the origin, the solutions are in the epsilon neighborhood of the origin. But it can be observed from the plot of the system solutions that there are unbounded solutions for this system. For example, solutions starting from an initial condition larger than 1 grow unbounded. Using the boundedness of solution definition, we can choose delta equals 1.5 and see that there exists no positive epsilon such that solutions remain in the epsilon neighborhood of the origin. So the origin is a stable, but the system has unbounded solutions. In the second example, we consider another nonlinear system, x dot equals minus x plus square root of x. This system has also two equilibrium points at zero and one. Similarly to the previous example, we use MATLAB and plot the solutions starting from 0 to 2. We see that the origin is unstable because for the epsilon chosen in this figure, there exists no positive delta such that solutions stay in the epsilon neighborhood of the origin. However, we see that all solutions are bounded and the condition in the boundedness of solutions definition holds for any given positive delta. So the origin is unstable, but the solutions are all bounded. These two examples show that boundedness of solutions is neither a necessary nor a sufficient condition for stability of an equilibrium point. We now show using an example that attractivity of an equilibrium point is not a sufficient condition for asymptotic stability. There are systems for which all trajectories starting near an equilibrium converge to that equilibrium but the equilibrium is not asymptotically stable in the sense of the definition given here. We present an example to better understand the difference between attractivity and asymptotic stability. Consider a system with two state variables in the polar coordinate system. 
Note that the system model and also the solutions to this system can be represented in the Cartesian coordinate system using these two equations, x1 equals r cosine of theta and x2 equals r sine of theta. We first find the equilibrium points of this system. We set r dot equals zero and obtain that r is either zero or one. For the second equation, when theta dot is zero, theta over two is equal to k pi where k is an integer. But since it's assumed that theta is greater than or equal to minus pi and is less than pi, theta can only be zero. Then by using x1 and x2 equations, we obtain that the equilibrium points are x e equals zero, zero, and x e equals one and zero. We now use MATLAB to plot some of the solutions of the system. When the system starts from the equilibrium points, we see the solutions remain at the equilibrium points. Then we set the initial condition of the system to 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 and see that the system solution, which is started close to the equilibrium at the origin, tends to the equilibrium at x1 equals 1. We then try another initial condition, x of 0 equals 0 0.2 and 0 0.01 and see again that the solution converges to the equilibrium at x1 equals 1 and not to the equilibrium at the origin. We continue with other initial conditions at x1 of 0 equals 0 0.4, x1 of 0 equals 0 0.9, and x1 of 0 equals 1.2. We see that even for an initial condition, which is very close to the equilibrium at x1 equals 1, the solution initially goes away from the equilibrium and then finally goes toward and converges to the equilibrium as time increases. So the equilibrium at x1 equals 1 is unstable. The reason is that, according to the instability definition, we can choose a positive epsilon for which there exists no positive delta, such that for initial conditions starting in the delta neighborhood of the equilibrium, the solutions always stay in the epsilon neighborhood. It can be seen that solutions that start very close to x1 equals 1 leave the ball with radius epsilon. So the equilibrium at x1 equals 1 and x2 equals 0 is an unstable but attractive equilibrium point. As we can see from asymptotic stability definition, attractivity implies asymptotic stability if the equilibrium is stable, but attractivity by itself doesn't imply asymptotic stability.